Good morning, good morning, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hello friends, this is Lady Long and welcome to Circle Time with Teacher Tidbits. I'm super excited to start our day, so let's get into it. The first thing we have to do is put on everything we need to start our day. Do you know what that is? If you do, follow along with me. First, we need our thinking cats. We're ready to think and learn. Now, let's put on our looking eyes. Boop, boop, boop. We always stop and look at who's talking. Now, put on your listening ears. Click, click. We listen and make Good choices. Now, let's put on our calm bodies. We keep our bodies still when we're learning and when someone's talking to us. Let's put on our kind hands. We use our hands to help others. Lastly, let's put on our inside. We use our inside voices when we're talking to one another inside our homes. Friends, now let's find out what today is. To do that, we need a very special graph. Do you know what that graph is? <laughs> it's called a calendar. And this is the calendar for this month. Before we talk about the month, Let's talk about the days of the week. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are the days of the week. Can you find the days of the week? These are the days of the week. Help me find the day of the week. Let's put down our calendar graph right in front of me here and let's figure out the day of the week. Well, here's our calendar and here's the day we're on. Yesterday was this day, Sunday. So let's put that on our board. Sunday, yesterday was Sunday. Oh, but we still have to figure out what today is, hmm. Oh, I know. Well, if yesterday was Sunday, the day after Sunday is Monday. That's right, Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday all day long. Let's move it over so we can read the full sentence. So if today is Monday, Tomorrow will be t -t Tuesday. That's right, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. And yesterday was Sunday. The date is November. That's the month that we're in. And it's the last day of the month. Now let's figure out the date using our calendar. The month is November. That's a big word. Can you say that with me? Let's clap it out. November. Three claps equal three syllables. November. Let's count to see what day it is on the calendar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Whew, that's a big number. It is Monday, November 30th. Let's write that on the board. The date is November 30th, 2020. That's our year. Good job. 
Now let's get ready and sing our colors song. Can you sing with me? Blue, red, yellow, and pink, orange, green, and purple. These are the colors of the world, the colors that we see every day. Blue, red, yellow, and pink, orange, green, and purple. Those are our colors, and we see them every day. We see them everywhere. We'll be on the lookout for different colors today. Now it's time for us to find out what the letter of the day will be today. I think it's gonna be a pretty terrific letter. <laughs> Here it is. Our letter of the day is T. This is uppercase T. Can you use your big voices to say hi to Big T with me? Say hi, Big T. We also have lowercase t. Can you use your little voices to say hi to little t? Say hi, little t. T makes a special sound. The T says t. The T says t. The T says t. Every letter makes a sound and T says t. We also have a special T word. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. I have it right here. Oh wow, look at this friends. This is our T word for the day. I'll give you a hint. It's something that you can find in your mouth and you use it to chop and chew. Do you know what this is? Yes. It's a tooth, one tooth. When you have one, it's called a tooth. But when you have many, it's called teeth. Tooth, the word tooth. Let's spell it together. T-O-O-T-H. And look. The word tooth has two T's. It also has two O's. Let's go over here and find out our shape for the day. Here's the shape for the day. Do you know what shape this is? Well, it has three straight lines. One, two, three and three pointy angles, one, two, three, sharp corners. It's a triangle, that's right. Our shape for the day is triangle. And let's find out the number of the day. Our number for the day is this number here. Do you know what number this is? It has curvy, loopy lines. It is the number eight. 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 Let's count the eight dots on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the number of the day. Eight, eight, eight is great. Eight is the number of the day. Eight, 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 eight. Eight is the number of the day. Last, let's go over our sight word for the day. T, H, E. Huh. T, E. What word is that? Hmm. I know. When you have the letters T and H together, it makes a special sound. T by itself goes T, T. H by itself goes T, But together they make T, T. Now let's try to sound it out again. Th, uh, th, th. 
Our sign word for the day is the. T-H-E. The is a very useful word. In fact, we use it a lot, especially in the beginning of sentences. We use it in this sentence here. The date is November. Yeah. We also have it in this sentence here. Letter of the day. Yeah, we use the word the a lot. That is our morning meeting news. Bye-bye, friends.